Okay, so I have been following JR Ali for a really long time right now. Apart from his crazy transitions, there are also some other aspects of his videography about his films which stand out a lot. Just like this diffused highlights which he showed in his latest video. Making this particular diffused highlights is pretty simple to use and it is pretty easy to make. All you need to do is just have a some kind of clip which has a lot of highlights. Highlights are the portion which is the brightest portions of your video like the white portion, the light portion, the sky portion. Those are all the highlight portion of the video. Like all the brightest portion of your videos are your highlights. That is in simple languages. So in order to just add this fake diffused highlight effect, all you need to do is just simply use a Gaussian blur onto this footage and a Luma key onto his footage. And it is pretty simple to use. Just drag and drop it onto your footage. Just make some minor adjustments and it is pretty much done. And generally use the same. Now just for this lemma, this particular effect has no way contributed to a story which is generally used to portray in his video. The story of the video is always the king, just like he says and just like I always say. If the story of the video is not good, the video is not good. So be focused on concentrating on the story of the video and then focus on this minus subtle details in editing which will really uplift the story of your video. The special effects are just to add it to your story. It is not the main portion of your video. Of course, it is visually appealing but the story is always the king. Without the story, the video will have no meaning. So that is pretty much it. So I am going to show this effect for both Final Cut Pro and for Premiere Pro. So if you have come for Final Cut Pro then skip to this portion and if you have come for Premiere Pro then skip to this portion. With that being said, what's up guys, Special Sammy here. Welcome to my newest video. I hope you guys are having a great day and let's get started. First we are going to show for Final Cut Pro. This is the footage which I am going to take. This has a lot of highlights and a lot of shadows. So the dreamy look will look really good here. So just duplicate this layer and place it on top of another. And then go to the effects panel. Search in Luma key. And drag the Luma key here onto the above footage. And then hide the lower layer by pressing V. And then play with the Luma key of the upper layer in such a way that only the brighter portions are visible. And you can play with your own settings and whatever you feel like. And you can play with it as much as you can. And then unhide the lower layer. And then go to the effects panel. And then go to the blur section. And then drag in Gaussian Blur onto the above footage. And then you are going to say this. But it is a bit too much. So I am going to play with the amount in the effects panel. So just adjust the amount in the effects panel. Make it a little bit on the lower side. Or maybe on the upper side. And then reduce the opacity. And then play with the opacity. And make sure it blends in properly with the footage. And that is pretty much it. So just let it render as it is going to take some time. And then your effect is ready to be used. So this is the before and after of the footage. Now I am going to show for Premiere Pro. This is the footage which I am going to take. This is the forest footage which has a lot of highlights and some shadows. So the dreamy look of diffuse highlights will look really good here. So just copy this layer on top of another by pressing Command plus C and then Command plus V. And then, and then place it on top of the current layer just like this and then zoom in. And then go to the effects panel and search in Luma key and drag the Luma key onto the above footage. And then go to the effects control panel, hide the lower layer so that the upper layer is only visible. And play with the threshold of the Luma key such that only the highlights are visible. And then you can play with the cutoff and the threshold as much as you can and you can modify it if you feel like. I am going to just keep it as it is. Now I want to unhide the lower layer. Now go to the FS panel and search in Gaussian Blur. And then drag the Gaussian Blur onto the above footage. And then increase the blurriness of the Gaussian Blur in the FS panel. Just like this. You can play with the Gaussian Blur as much as you can. And then you can increase the Gaussian Blur also and then reduce the opacity later. Just like this. I'm going to show it just now. 
just like this you can decrease the opacity of the upper layer just a little bit so that it blends in properly with the lower layer and the dreamy look and the diffused highlight look much more smoother and seamless and then right now just render the selection out I'm gonna just increase the opacity just a little bit more because I feel it is a bit too less and increase the blurriness also just a little bit and then render the selection out. After rendering your process is pretty much ready. Just add proper sound effects, proper color gradient and cinematic bars and all those other stuff and then your footage is ready. So this is the before and after of the footage. Thank you so much for watching guys hope you liked my video so if you are into cinematography filmmaking videography and photography then my channel is just for you and if you like my kind of content and if you like the stuff i do in my channel the free stuff the transitions the plugins the alerts the tutorials and all this other stuff then please please subscribe to my channel and make sure that the post notification button is turned on so that you guys can see every time i make a new video so let's just join our hands and make this family make this community as big as we can and if you have any kinds of doubts for the videos for the later videos for the future videos or any kind of suggestion or any kind of talk you want to have with me then you can follow me on Instagram at this particular link and I will definitely definitely reply to you as soon as I get the message or see the message so with that being said thank you so much for watching guys and do let me know in the comment down below about what you guys are creating today about what you guys are creating with my kind of tutorials and all those other stuff so please please keep on creating and hustle and with that being said peace